Once again, you feel yourself age. You are many years older now, though still, thankfully, King of Daventry. As before, the knowledge of the previous tests ebbs from your mind. This time, however, it is filled with greater knowledge of all that has come to pass thus far. Many years have passed. Your children, once heirs to your throne, have forged their own paths in other kingdoms. Fortunately, chance has seen fit to fill the vacancy. Following the restoration of the Mask of Eternity, Daventry now has a new champion. How do you feel? I'm deeply honored, sir. All right, now how do you really feel? Get him with, sir. <laughs> you smile and feel the lines in your face stretch. You hope you will get used to it when the true time comes. You know what they have been saying? About my decision, that is. The people question my ability to perform the duties, but I have another or higher obligation. I believe that I can attend to both with the utmost equity. You do not deny that the or obligation may arise at any moment, perhaps taking you away from this country for the time at its time of greatest need? Of course not, sir. But I shall deal with that troll, as they say, when I cross that bridge. Mm. And there is the matter of you not being of royal birth. That does not sit comfortably with some of the nobles. The qualities of truth, light, and order can shine from even the most poor impoverished of souls. The ability is defined from what's actually not one of his lineage, sir. Isn't that awesome? Well, well, he's from a noble him. family. You cannot help but smirk. For a man who once lived as a peasant, he speaks extremely well. You know what I can't help but smile at is that bright purple robe. <laughs> and the pink edges, that's a nice touch. Okay. I actually think it doesn't matter now, what you're saying here, but... <laughs> if you matter. answered the first test correctly, you get three options. Otherwise, you only get these two. Take and five. because I have three options, I always choose this one, just because it's funnier. It's <laughs> so mean, though. I have decided, after long and careful consideration, that in order to earn your knighthood, you must venture forth on a quest to capture and kill the most insidious and elusive of prey. What is this prey? A dragon? Hmm. No more richer than that. A trihorn field beast of the southern plains? Hmm. No more awful than that. Certainly not the scourge of the Hello Mountains, the flesh furrowing scorpion? Hmm. No, but it does get under your skin all the same. The prey tell, but what do I seek? Oh, sorry I'm late, Graham. I hope I haven't missed anything. That! The talking owl? Hmm. <laughs> Precisely! Charge! Graham! What are you- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I said not to do it the other way, and I think that came out very silly. <laughs> it was better when we actually did the game. Second the hour. <laughs> you don't get points for that solution. But it's still hilarious. Vengeance will be mine! In an instant, you find yourself standing before the cloud spirit once more. You also notice that it is starting to get dark. You have demonstrated some understanding of compassion, honor, and loyalty. These attributes transcend the mind and speak of the soul within you. I miss that because it's just skip too fast. While you have much to learn, you will continue to grow in all ways. You are judged worthy of the air and growth gem. Yeah, okay, there's a time limit on this little sequence here because if you do not fast enough, you die. Yeah. I'm going to do the whole sequence all over again. You take the growth gem. Oh, can I get back on the whole? Or earth the... That flew you. As you feel knowledge of the last test fade from your mind, the cloud beneath your feet begins to evaporate. You better get out of here quickly, Graham. Falling to your death after all of that would be a bit undignified. I've done that, definitely. <laughs> Finally, your flight comes to an end. You hope that it'll be quite a while before you take the air again. You can give up flying Pegasus Airlines. <laughs> Alright, you like me to land? On the ground would be fine. <laughs> First I scram. <laughs> this Graham is kind of a jerk. Kitty, he helps with the forest animals. 
and the ocean ones. Take this sugar cube. It'll protect you against the poisonous growth of this land. Wait, what poisonous growth? This time we should know about? Fairly well. Hmm. Is the grass poisonous? Oh god, if the grass is poisonous, isn't it? Ahhhh! Just don't eat it and you'll be fine. Yeehaw! <laughs> At least I, he didn't yeah, say venomous. Like dork. This is why I didn't care about much. As dusk sets and the moon rises above the darkening horizon, you recall the Door of Destiny's words regarding the third gem. Through, Through swampy mire, mire in lone dark castle. You remember the great Neptune's disquiet reluctance to speak of Kalima's lord. You sense a growing unease that this final gem may not be the easiest to acquire. Well, that's yeah. just nifty. I think it's time to save again. Yeah. 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 Yes, I know that's a terrible pun in this evening. Yeah. Uh, Where are we going, anyway? I have no idea. Um... To the planetarium? Watch a I've film strip instead. <laughs> Isn't the city gonna be like closed now? <laughs> it's night. Let's see. Yep. Yep. Climb over the wall. Up. Get us locked tight. I guess the climbing's good. I don't wish for climbing. You should. This is like I got cheated. I didn't get any wishes. <laughs> hey, that's because you got a lamp, not a, a ring. Hey, cool. I can change the little symbols <laughs> with the scroll wheel. You're my. Yeah, maybe I should have gotten a magic rope for this. What? Teleporting ground! Yeah, what? Da -da 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 the church was open. At dusk. Oh, yeah, the church. Yeah. Wow, this is creepy. But at eyes, do you see that? Let's go in. Finally, the door unlocked and numbered. You enter the church. I see a book here. You look over the Bible, which appears to be many decades old. You open it and find that an otherwise blank page in the front has been written on. It is dated over 20 years ago. To all those who have heard the word, we are the chosen few, blessed by the spirits of the wild, destined for greatness concealed by the cloth. There is but one challenge we must overcome before our future can be set in stone. The simple people of... Kalima cling to the memory of their former ruler. Even now, years after his fate's dark turn, they retain their hope that he will not forsake them. So long as this is so, our goal cannot be attained. So, my brothers, it is our duty to see the land cleansed of its blight. Do not fear our enemy. Our faith, purpose, and power will guide us to the future we were promised. A path has been found to him, O oh brothers. Let him hear the warning howls. The cloth will be lifted for all time and our songs will echo the end of him, his influence, and his family. Our time is at hand. You return the Bible to where you found it. You also notice that a page from the Bible has fallen onto the floor. Well, that's this, messy. This place isn't creepy at all. You pick up the fallen page and read it. The words appear to have been written recently. So, spiders earnest with spindly eight, spin webs with negligible weight. So, S E W S E S W W E W. This place isn't creepy at all. No, the original had had the monastery completely different. Well, maybe it would be a good time to. Really humble, you kneel down to pray. You rise after a few moments. The monk stirs, stands, and turns to face you. Father, I'm going now to a place of darkness. While I'm stout of heart, the path that lies down before me is unclear. I seek only the knowledge that my passage may be illuminated by heavenly favor, and I pray that I may make it through. The monk gives you a reassuring smile and pats you on the shoulder. He lifts a silver cross from around his neck and places it into your hand. Thank you. You are You're welcome, my child. You can talk! Of course. Mm -hmm. I thought monks were forbidden from speaking. 
Not all churches follow the same rules, and this church is quite unique! Really? I hope so. Monk just smiled placidly at you. <laughs> Not creepy at all! Not creepiness factor 9. About this crucifix. I believe you'll find the cross to be of immense value! It has come to us at a huge price! It was expensive. I mean it has cost us more than any of uh, you to be in possession of it! Never to. If I may ask, why is it that you only open the church at dusk? We find the late hours more favorable! Mm -mm. Surely then, you would not have many in your congregation? Yes, that is true! 9.45 what do you know of the Count? Only oh, that he is a heathen, a blasphemer! You serve God well uh, by going there, Shire. Bless you. The monk smiles at you, turns back to the altar, kneels, and resumes praying. Again, that 9.5. How did he know I was going to. Yeah, creepy. that's where the extra point. Uh, 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 0.05 comes from my calculations. Okay, let's go over here. Maybe he is one of his cleric spells. Without warning, a pair of wolves dart out of the dark forest and dash towards you. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Um. Not again! <laughs> oh, good. For a minute there, you thought those wolves were going to attack. Curious as to why they didn't, you decide to follow them. Um. That's what I always do when <laughs> I'm passed by by monsters. Uh oh. You see the monk standing alone outside the church. Then you notice the two wolves approaching him. Mm. You are about to yell a warning to the monk, but the wolf words die in your throat as the man steps forward and pats the wolves on the head. No, my brothers, we must not hurt him! Not yet! He is going to the heathen's abode! He will do what needs to be done! What if he does not? Then, my brothers, we will complete the task before us! The one we began so many years ago! Hmm. 9.8 on the scale of not creepiness. You quickly move away from the church. Your heart races faster with every step. You have a good idea now what will happen once the moon comes out in full, and you do not want to be anywhere near here when it does. They just didn't want to animate. One thing's for sure, you're not getting married in that church! They didn't want to animate a transformation. Yeah. So, werewolves. This is definitely written very high on the not creepy scale. 9.8, I say. My non creepy meter, in fact, is almost maxed out here. What do you guys, what do you guys give it? Everyone should have a non creepy meter, by the way. What do you guys say the non-creepiness of, of that? Place I think is? it goes to 11. 